is uh, oh look it's road that's awesome potatoes one of the easier crops to uh, work But there, yeah, there is the um, there is benefit to playing as a uh, new farmer, where you start with everything and work your way up from there. The other option I'll go with is uh, farm manager because you do end up with more money to start off with. But again, it depends on the map, and if I have to build. If you have to build the farmyard, then that can be a problem. Um, I think Alien Jim was one of the first I noted uh, with Mercury Farm. He gave you Mercury Farm building pack um, in the map initially, and then he released that pack as a mod. So I'm using two of his buildings on this map uh, for the Oh, what is it? Um, for the seed and fertilizer supply points. Uh, those are alien gems from these Mercury Farm. Don't know where I got the fuel tank from, but there it does not appear to be any fuel supply on this map at all. All of the buildings are set, all of the f yards are set. So I had to add in the deck chairs to sleep on to create a sleeping point on the map. But apart from those deficiencies on this map, it's it's quite a big map. And uh, consequently lots of uh, lots of fields. I mean there's over 140 fields I think and none of them are particularly large so I'm able to do a lot of this work um, with the small equipment I started with. When it comes to cultivating some of the, the fields or ploughing some of the fields yeah at that point I'm gonna go off and get uh, use the um, borrowed equipment because <laughs> it takes hours to do some jobs with this tractor. The fields I have are small so it's adequate for my farm it's not adequate for some of the fields on this map farm manager yeah, I, I've mixed farm manager. I, I don't usually do a start from scratch because it really does limit what you can do. I, f I figured on this one because um, I wanted to try out the Polish tractor pack and there's a lot of very small equipment that's very cheap that a lot of the time you never use. So it's given me a chance to use equipment I normally wouldn't consider. I think this tractor's. I think we clear a hundred horsepower, but not by much. I think at pretty much all of the fields have missions at some time or another. I've been around many parts of the map. I haven't done this field before. But we've certainly explored pretty much most of it. Oh, it's this will probably be the last job of this day.
So as soon as I'm done here, we'll take the tractor back to the yard. Park it all up. There we go. We're done. So collect on that one. Yeah, I'm not going to do any others, but yeah, 8, 128, 80, 134. So 8's over here, there. Um, I mean, we've already done fields down here, and I've done most of these fields at least once. Um, I've done a couple of these. If I turn off needs lime, anything that's been fertilized was probably at least one level done by me sometime or other. There's a lot of weeds on this map. We are not having a significant weed problem, so that's good. Some of the ploughed fields I think I did. Uh, none of the farmers seem to want you to lime their fields, so that doesn't come out. And yeah, that's. I haven't. I haven't paid much attention. I mean, obviously. I did notice on Marwell Manor that there was only about three or four fields that actually had... Uh, well, that's unfortunate. I'm pretty sure that's the edge of the map, so we're going to have to drive down here. Um, yeah, there were the two fields on the backtrack to the store that had missions and I think maybe one or two others but for the most part yeah Marwell Manor was not a big uh, map when it came to missions now Lone Oak I haven't played much on Lone Oak but Lone Oak's got a fair number of fields with missions Is there a north crossing? Don't think so. I'm pull up at the side of the road and take a look at the map. Because there's this river that runs through here. There might be a crossing there. Wow, field 19 is kind of crazy. So I might take a trip through past 47, because otherwise we have to go all the way down here and then all the way back again. So I'll put the small map on so that there's somebody. But I think as far as um, map makers go, I tend to, there's two ways to do it. You can either do it as, I'm just going to make my map like in Farm Sim 17, I'm going to put all the yard buildings down and you're going to have to live with it. Or like black sheep modding and ox uh, not oxygen david um alien jim have done i'm going to create a map i'm going to create my assets i'm going to make my new farmer yards like i want them but if you start on um farm manager or start from scratch I'm going to delete the buildings, but the assets are still available, so you can make any yard you want using the style of buildings that I, I've made for my map. And I like that 
as well. You know, either give me a yard and don't care about which starting difficulty I select, or give me the assets in your map folder so that I can at least not be out of place with the buildings I'm putting down. Uh, some of the earlier ones had the yard if you were a new farmer, didn't if you weren't, and yeah, you you had to use the default buildings around which just didn't map, match the style of the map. Okay. We are back here. Should probably put the lights on. There we go. pull into here. Oh, I should probably check the chickens. We didn't do that. And it's been a while since uh, I played on this map. chicken stuff's all moved. So yeah, for example, this is... this shed's been around for ages and it's kind of based on the uh, the default easy sheds, I think. These types of sheds, um, uh, the, the, yeah, these have been around for ages. I think they were some of the first sheds released. Okay, lights off. Off, off. Off, engine off. Engine power. We'll close that. Take a look at the chickens. Hi, chickens. Uh, no. They are now this menu. So we have seriously 50 chickens? Wow. 51. Hang on. Good grief, they're breeding as we go. Okay. Um, what's that chicken worth? We should start thinking about selling some of these chickens. Hang on, that's a newborn chicken? Point two years. Okay. Okay. Where's chicken number one? Okay, there's chicken number one. Oh, this is a Quit jumping on me. Right, chicken number one is a newborn. Nah, this doesn't. Right, that's nearly a year old. Oh, here we go. That's about to lay hatch an egg. Still getting dark. I need to slow time down by to my normal. Okay. So if I do that. What I'm looking for the older male chickens. So roosters, no. The 
that chicken's worth three bucks. That's chickens three. We bought these, they're white leghorns. We bought them at about five, six bucks. Just don't know when they're going to die. But uh, I think what we'll do is we'll sell the male chickens when they reach about uh, point s point 0.5 years, point 0.6 years. So we've got a way to go for those. No, what am I doing? Uh, what was that one? Give me that one back. Okay. Exit. So, we're not selling any chickens right now. We're at 112,000. Uh, I didn't. Okay, it's 10 o'clock at night and still quite bright. So nice. Let's uh, go to sleep for... Yeah, 10 hours. 9 hours. Let's go to sleep for 9 hours. Property maintenance, nine bucks. That's what I like. And we wake up sitting outside of the tree. And I tend to start with goals. So what is my goal of this farm? Um, I think we started off with 25 chickens, so we've already made um, uh, what am I doing? That one. Um, we've already made 26 chickens, which is a good thing. They're clean, they're, they have more than enough food, so you don't have to worry about that. We have eggs. I'm not selling the eggs until I have enough. But I'll, you know, I'll make this thing, you know, this playthrough is going to be sheep, this playthrough is going to be arable, this playthrough is going to be whatever. Um, what am I doing? I'm looking for that. Oh, there are a vanishingly small number of contracts at the moment. Again, 128, 134, 8 and 80. I think 128 and 134 are probably down at the bottom, close by each other. 138 and was it 124? 134 and 128, okay. <laughs> 134 there and 128 there. I'm going to say those are doable. Where's 80 while we're at it? Probably do 80 on the way home. Uh, maybe. 88, 86. 80 is there. So yeah, if we head down, 134, 128, 80. We can worry about the rest later. So, 134. going to need to fill this up again. I also try to stay out of debt for as much as possible. Um, I will go into debt if it's going to lead to me almost immediately making more money. So for example we still don't have enough money for a harvester or a uh, um, a, a grain cart but we are going to need both in order to make money off our fields so I'm not going to quibble about oh I'm 10k short it'll be okay I need to borrow 10k so that we can buy the harvester <coughs> and we can do the harvest and then we can sell the grains and pay off the loan 
Now, in some situations, it's a case of, well, a new harvester is going to cost me 250000 I don't have nearly half that money, so we're going to lease the harvester for the first year. And again, I may consider borrowing money for that, but for the most part, I'm running on my own money. So... Uh, And I'll use, you yeah, know, I'll, I'll, the map kind of decides what I'm going to be doing. So this map has, you know, over 100 fields, but I'm only going with small equipment because that's all I can afford. So I'm only going with uh, small fields. But I think I've got enough fields that more yeah, I don't have nearly as many fields as I could support if I wanted to. We could buy more. I, I started with two and then said, ah, oh, to heck with it, I'll get a third one. But we're now too far gone to, uh, to buy any more. Unless I want to live with what somebody else put in the field. I generally try not to get to the point where I have to sell something because if I have to sell something that means I had too much stuff to start with or I bought something I don't need. So typically I might rent a plow because I'm going to plow all the fields to start with and then I don't need my plow anymore. But if I plan to do Okay, I'm going to be a potato hub part, plant, um, farmer, I'm going to be a corn hub uh, farmer. Then I'm going to need the plow permanently, so it's not an option to rent it. I'm going to have to buy it because it's going to be used every year. And I may make decisions on crops. I mean, obviously the easiest decision is I'm going to do um, wheat, barley, canola, oats and soybeans because I need one harvester and one header um, and if I try to do sunflowers or corn I'm going to need a second header and I might not have the money to do that but I might consider and, and also a different planter but then again I could consider well this this farm I'm just going to do sunflower and corn And that would be something completely different. Um, on Mercury Farms, when I was playing that, I decided I'm going to do potatoes. I'm going to have at least one potato field. And so I spent the money buying the potatoes for the first harvest. And then... Um, used the potatoes from that harvest to... Um, replant another field, or plant another field, should I say. I didn't replant another field. I planted a different field. And then I used the uh, potatoes from that harvest to plant the next field. And once the field was planted, I would then sell the rest. So the potatoes was a perpetual planting thing. Um, also, the advantage with Alien Jim's map was uh, the farm silo that he provides will store root crops. So it was an interesting diversion doing potatoes for a change. Now, normally I would avoid potatoes like the plague, but for the most part Mercury Farm has a small... Um, set of starting fields. To make them bigger you have to chop down the fences and the um, uh, what? The fences and the hedges and then um, plough the fields together to make bigger fields. But starting off you can get away with doing a small potato operation 
and I just decided this farm I am going to have potatoes every single harvest. Um, when I decide to do pigs, it's going to be a case of well, I have to be, you know, I have to create the food, and then I, you know, so I'm going to have to do beets or potatoes in order to do the pigs. Although I believe with seasons, pigs don't eat root crops. So uh, that would be a saving. I tend to make sure I do have at least one tractor that is totally sufficient for any job I'm going to have for it. Um, when I started Law Folds, I used the Axion 940 from uh, CMT Software um, on FarmSim 17. And I started with that tractor. Um, you know, I sold all the starting equipment and bought that tractor as one of the starting equipment pieces of equipment because I knew I wanted to cut grass. So I was going to be running the uh, the um, oh, I can't remember what is it uh, this mower set. So when you added it up it was 70 plus 180 or 160. That's 230 horsepower before I start. I was using the realistic fuel mod which is going to add 2030 horsepower requirement because um, you need to move the tractor as well as run the mowers and then even more than that because uh, the hills on law folds weren't exactly level oh hello we now have more contracts to do well I think we're still going to do 128 oh 126 came up 126 isn't very big. Okay, let's do 128. Definitely want to take a look at 83, but we're going to have to go back to the yard to refill. But um, yeah, there's a I, I there's a lot of times I'll look at and sort of. I want to do something different so eventually I'm going to say I need to do a cotton farm and so um, I'm going to have to get um, a map and geo that supports cotton and do that. I haven't really done a sugarcane farm either but I have done beets, I have done potatoes and while they're they're annoying as heck. They, uh, yeah, it's it's not a bad thing. Um, am I doing one twenty eight? Uh, that would be one twenty eight, and that would be the field that is. I'll tell the difference. So I'm going to assume it's the next one. Maybe it is this one. Okay, it's this one. I'll go up to the end and then we can uh, cut down. S no. Okay, that one's 128. Sometimes so confusing. Um, the other thing I'll do is for a given um, map region I will Google the agriculture that is, you know, is, is standard for that area. So for example Lawfolds is in Scotland near Aberdeen, obviously Aberdeenshire. And predominantly 
I believe it's sheep, um, then cows. Um, for arable crops, predominantly barley, because obviously um, the distilling industry is quite big there. Um, after barley, you're looking at wheat. Um, and then beans and root crops. Corn doesn't factor in, sunflowers doesn't factor in. However, um, during my playthrough of Lower Folds, I discovered that um, there were two Scottish farms that had been trialing growing corn. Now, corn's not a really good thing to grow in Scotland because of the temperatures there. But they were growing corn to feed, uh, to uh, produce as animal feed, not people feed. And since I had the cows, and obviously silage is good, and I had, I decided I was going to do pigs as well. I figured, okay, it's it's not a big stretch to produce corn. Now, all the corn I produced either went into a silage bunker or into the pig trough. I didn't sell any of it. Okay, that one's done. And potentially 126. 